What is up guys, Tech James here. You guys might not know that your Game Boy could actually be rotting and croning away and you might not even realise. If you guys have a Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Pocket, basically any Game Boy that takes batteries, I would probably recommend checking it. If you leave them lying around with the batteries inside, the batteries could actually start to corrode. Now this might take a long time. I've kind of noticed it with mine. I have had batteries corrode inside stuff before. Normally it's after about like two to five years depending on how good the battery is batteries like this aren't really as good this one is called UK batteries limited premium I wouldn't really trust this so much I don't really know about this brand I don't know if it's that good maybe batteries like this aerocell are a bit better in the UK, I think Duracell batteries are probably some of the best we can get. But yeah, you guys have got to be careful. If you've got batteries in your Game Boys and you're just leaving them lying around for years, maybe you're not really playing them, the batteries could actually end up destroying them. So in this video, I've got a very clean Game Boy Color, which we can take a look at. And I've got a Game Boy, which has had a battery in, which has corroded before. Now I got lucky with this one. It didn't really do too much damage, and I'm going to try and clean it up in this video. There is a high chance that you guys can save your Game Boy if the battery has leaked and started corroding. You can use stuff like contact cleaner and electronic oil to try and clean them up a bit So that's what I'm gonna try and do But yeah, if you guys don't know how to take apart a Game Boy Color, it's actually really easy All you need are two screwdrivers Really, to take the case off, you only need one type of screwdriver. This right here is called a tri-ring screwdriver. So on the case, we've got four screws at the top. So that's one, two, three, four. And once you take off the battery compartment, we also have two screws in here. So let me just show you. I have already taken the screws out, but these ones are at the bottom of the compartment just here. Now, this one is actually starting to rust. I did get this second hand at a car boot sale, so it's not really my fault, um, the condition it's in. And that applies to pretty much all of my electronics. If they're second hand it's not me that ends up destroying them it's normally the person that I buy them off and then of course I try and fix them so let's take off the cover to this one as well there isn't really any pieces that should fall out apart from the volume button maybe the power button as well so you just gotta look after those don't lose them I wouldn't worry too much because you can get spares but if you're like me and you like the original housing you definitely want to look after them so yeah guys let's take a look if I just zoom in right now this one is very clean and you guys might be able to see on this one it does actually have some rust on it you can tell that this one is nice shiny metal and this one is pretty rusty now you can replace these parts quite easily but I want to keep this Game Boy as original as possible so I probably won't be replacing them maybe in the future I will buy a few parts off eBay just to you know clean it up a bit but yeah this one is actually the Pokemon special edition or Pikachu special edition if you guys can see right there and this one is it's just a normal pink one so I could easily like replace the housings on them but yeah I'm not really too bothered right now this one is very clean I did actually clean this up before in the past uh, I just used some electronic and um, like contact cleaner I've actually got a spray can of it right here and I will be cleaning this one up in a minute so yeah, this one is very good and um, the batteries have been removed all of my devices that I'm not using I have the batteries taken out just so I don't have this issue but now let's take a look at this one. The first problem I'm noticing on it is that screw right here. That is actually a screw and it is covered in rust. So the second screwdriver you need for Game Boys is just a normal Phillips screwdriver. I believe that's what I call it. That's what I call them anyway. So you just want to, um, I'm just going to take the screw out and see if I can clean it up a bit because that is actually looking horrible. So hopefully you guys can see that if my camera focuses. A very rusty screw and I don't know why that is covered in rust. I guess it's something to do with the battery. I'm going to try and take this out. Oh god, is that... That might actually be destroyed. Maybe I'm going to have trouble getting that out. So maybe it's rusted so bad that the screw is actually stripped. Now, if you guys do have a stripped screw, you can use flathead screwdrivers. I think that's maybe your best bet. I'm going to give this a try, but it doesn't look too hopeful. So yeah, uh, Jesus Christ, that is actually a lot worse than I expected. I don't even know if I can get that out. I might have to get that out in the future. Maybe I can't do it in this video. And that's a shame. But I might be able to clean it up a bit. Yeah, so that, that is not coming out. That is so rusted and stripped. Hmm. I might actually have to drill that out. Oh, gosh. That's a lot worse than I expected, to be honest. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the electronic cleaner. I'll try and clean it as best as I can. And then we can just see what it ends up looking like, I guess. 
So these are the cleaners that I use. We have got the 375. This one is the contact cleaner. And we've got the 373. This one is the electronic oil. So yeah, I'm going to use both of these. We're going to try and clean it up. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get rid of some of that rust. I don't know, as I said before, I don't know if it's batteries that caused it. Um, but I do remember that Game Boy having corroded batteries in when I got it second hand. Um, you know, I got it off a car boot sale for like, what, £2 or something. So you've got to expect these faults. But yeah, I'm going to try and clean it up the best I can. And we can see what it ends up looking like. Now the best way to apply this contact cleaner is to actually apply it to one of those swabs. Um, I think they're called that. They're like those like plastic sticks of like the um, cotton at the end. I don't actually have one of those, so I'm just going to have to use an old um, horrible toothbrush. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the contact cleaner. Obviously clean, clean the can out, you're going to hold it upside down. But I'm just going to spray a bit on here. And hopefully that should be able to clean it. Now this does evaporate quite quickly. Um, also don't worry about damage anything. I've never actually damaged anything while using this contact cleaner. So you might want to get a bit of tissue just so it doesn't drip everywhere. But I'm just going to try and clean it the best I can. And um, we can see what it ends up looking like. So I'm kind of going to scrub a bit of this rust off. Um, as I said, I can clean this up very nicely. The only problem is um, that rust is actually really horrible. Like, I really didn't expect it. I have not opened this Game Boy in a long time. But, you know, it may still work. I haven't tested this, so we can test it after I've cleaned it. Yeah, so the only problem is that screw. As you can see, it's cleaning up nicely, but um, the rust has rusted away the, um, like the um, screw head. That's why I'm unable to screw it out. But yeah, let's just clean it, and then we can try it out. Okay, so it's looking pretty clean. Um, the screw is now clean, but it's still stuck in there. It's got nothing um, for the screw to turn it around with. I tried using a tool like this to try and grip it like that and kind of undo it, but it just doesn't work, and I end up scratching the motherboard, which I really don't want to do because that's a shame. Um, so yeah, I will find a way to get this out in the future, but right now it just doesn't look possible. I do not have the tools to do this. Um, but what we're going to do, let's put this Game Boy back together. As I said, it's looking pretty clean, and we can test it out and see if it works. Um, I'm pretty sure the rust should still be okay and um, it's a lot cleaner than it was before and I have seen worse Game Boys that still power up so let's put it back together let's test it and we can see if it still turns on also don't forget your power button because mine literally fell out um, here it is the power button basically just sits make sure you get it right way basically just sits like that and it should be in the turned off position so it should be pretty easy just to clip in there you go and also another place that can get corroded if your batteries leak is the case itself. Now this bit isn't too bad because you can literally replace this very easily. And um, yeah, you might just want to clean it a bit with some electrical contact cleaner. But now I think it's okay, so let's put the whole thing back together. Uh, make sure you clip it in, make sure all your buttons are in the same place and not falling out. Um, my power button seems to be okay, the volume button seems to be okay. Everything looks good. So now what we're going to do is put the, bat uh, put the screws in. Okay, so the batteries are now in and it's clean and now we can test it. I have not tested this Game Boy in a long time. Um, keep in mind, once you clean it, it should actually work unless there's some kind of other fault. But let's see what happens. So there you go, it works perfectly fine, but it's just a bit rusty. The only problem now is that screw, which I had massive problems with getting out. So yeah guys, make sure you look after your Game Boys. If you don't plan on playing them in a long time, take out the batteries, because if you forget about it, it could actually be quite a disaster when you open it and notice all of that corroded battery and there's like fluff everywhere. It can also make your Game Boy um, ports like green as well, and like the battery like connection port, it can make that turn green, which is quite horrible. But there you go guys just a kind of like warning if you have got any games consoles lying around or just anything in general that uses batteries make sure to go ahead and check them i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe and um yeah let me know in the comments have you ever opened up a game boy to find some corroded batteries in it i think most of the time you can get them working game boys are pretty well made um even if you, you know kind of like abuse them a bit you can still fix them up and get them working so if you are new, make sure to leave a subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.